What is going on guys? It is Brandon with Extreme Daily Drivers where we are always balling on a budget and wrenching in our garage. And today I have an awesome budget solution for you guys who have hot cars like I do. I'm out here sweating in this crazy hot Florida weather. But I'm gonna show you how to stay cool in this heat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so what we got here for Rolly Fit is an intelligent cooling car seat. That's right, this thing is gonna keep your butt cool in that hot weather we're having here, not only in Florida, but I know you guys out west are dying too. So let's get this thing opened up here. Let's check out what we got inside. We got ourselves a little user manual with some photos, cool. We got a little bit of a certification. All right, it's official. Now let's open this guy up. So this is the little motor, pretty cool, pretty cool. You guys are probably wondering what the heck am I unboxing? Well, you're gonna see in a minute, you're gonna see in a minute. And here is the actual cushion that we sit on. All right, let me go ahead and lay all this out so you guys have a really good understanding of how it all works. So what we have here is we have a seat cushion that actually has channels inside of it, okay? Inside these channels, we're actually gonna pump water from inside this little container here. And that water is gonna come down through these tubes, go into the seat and keep our butts cool. And the way it all works is a little motor in here gets powered by your cigarette lighter. So it can't get easier than that. Let's go ahead and throw this in the car and see how well it works. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm already dying. I'm already dying out here. So when you install it, you want this, this side up, okay? Where it has the brand name on there. Send your lines through the back of the seat. Super easy to do. This is obviously a universal fit. So this will work with any car that has a front seat. If your car does not have a front seat, I don't know if it'll work. So make sure your car is a front seat. Send that guy through there. All right. Then it has these little these little tabs here. These also slide to the back side to help keep the pad in place so it doesn't slide around on you. All right, here we are on the back seat. Make sure that that's pulled nicely. And that's pulled nicely. Okay, once you got those set there, that'll keep it in place. And here's our tube hook up to our little motor. All right, now we're gonna use the hose. Doesn't matter which one you install, so which side of the pump. Well, you just take it and slide it on. Super easy to do. Makes for a nice watertight connection. Man, I wish everything I installed was this easy. My goodness, simple. All right, we made our connection. Now you wanna keep this under the seat. The reason you wanna keep it under the seat is because you wanna keep this out of the sun. Because the hotter this thing gets, the hotter the water will be circulating under your butt, and that means that it's not gonna be cooling nearly as efficiently. All right, so now that we have the installation done for the most part, now it's time to add the critical component to actually keep it cool, right? So the colder the water, the better it's gonna work. So the easiest thing to do is to grab some bottled water, pour it in the top of that little uh, reservoir. But you know what, I wanna go even colder. So we're gonna go ahead and get a beaker, fill it with some ice, then put some water on it, and then we'll have some really cold water. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. All right, check out how clean I did this install too. I ran the tubes up around the base of the seat, then around behind the plastic piece here. And none of them are crimped or anything like that, and it provides a much cleaner installation. So now we rotate this guy over, and we start filling it with some water. This is going to be hard to film and do, but I'm going to give it a shot. I think that's about good. I don't want to overfill it and have it spill all around. All right, we put our lid on here. All right, now we go ahead and plug it into our cigarette lighter. And now we come back to the little unit and there's a switch on the side. We just hit it. All right guys, believe it or not, this thing is on and running. It is killer quiet. It reminds me of like a pump for an aquarium. It's extremely quiet. You can't even hear it from the driver's seat. I can feel air coming in and out of here. So I know it's working. It's got very slight vibrations. All right, so this thing's been going for like 30 seconds. And it literally is already making a huge difference, dude. It's crazy. It's like, uh, I don't know, but you can really feel it with your hand. 
and I have gym shorts on, which, you know, they breathe really well, so I can really feel it through that. It is really, really pretty cool, man. Um, yeah, wow. So yeah, this is, a, uh, this is a really neat experience. This can definitely come in handy, especially in the Prelude, because you guys know in the Prelude, I don't have any air conditioning. So if you guys at home got a car that maybe the air conditioning doesn't work so great, maybe it doesn't have any air conditioning, this may be a really nice upgrade for you. Now, if you guys are interested in ordering this thing, click on the link down in the description box. It'll take you right to Amazon. You can pick this thing up at a great deal. One thing I want to mention, guys, if you decide to get this thing, is that, again, to get the most out of it, you want to have the coldest water in it as possible. And when you're done driving for the day or whatever, it's best to empty the unit out so water doesn't sit in there. If water sits in there, it could create bacteria, it could clog up the pump, yada, yada, yada. You guys already know this with anything that has water in it. So make sure that you're emptying it after every long drive or every day or whatever and filling it up with nice cold water to get the most cooling power out of this thing. Thanks to the guys at Rolly Fit for allowing me to review this product. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Later.